Anin Kinawea, Ogimakwe Benes and Dijnikaz, Minjikaning, Minwa Moose, and Donjaba, Magizi, and Dodam. Uh, my name is Chief Ladybird. I come from Rama First Nation and Moose Point First Nation, and I sit in the Eagle Clan. I am an artist, and this is my studio that I'm very excited to share with you. Um, I'm currently based in Rama First Nation, and I moved back here at the beginning of the pandemic. I came back just like to be with my family because I didn't want to be um, isolated alone in the city, um, but I didn't really anticipate staying here for too long. I really thought like I would only be here for a couple of weeks and then weeks turned to months and eventually it became kind of clear that uh, maybe I should consider just moving back and figuring it out. Um, so over the summer, my family and I, uh, with help from a lot of people in the community, um, built my art studio. <laughs> Um, it's probably one of my greatest achievements, honestly, because um, it's taught me that I can kind of make artwork from everywhere and anywhere and be self-sustainable and that I don't have to rely on being in an urban space to have a career as an artist. The building itself is um, like a pre-made building from Old Hickory. So you, we s would see them like along the highway like all the time. And one night at dinner, my brother was like, we were talking about what my options were. And my brother was like, why don't you just get one of those buildings that we see and we can just like finish it up and then you have your own space. And I was like, not a bad idea, dude. <laughs> so um, we got the ball rolling right away and um, yeah, we did it. Before I enter, I should be like, I'm Chief Lady Bird and welcome to my crib. <laughs> um, for the last nine years, um, throughout going to school at Oakhead University and then becoming a freelance artist, I just worked out of like my one bedroom apartment in Toronto and like, that was great too. But I don't know, having just like a space dedicated like solely to my artwork, just like feels really great and has kind of like re-energized my motivation for making art. So on this corner of the wall, <laughs> I have some of my prints hung up of my digital illustrations. Um, and then right here next to my fuse box or whatever it's called, <laughs> I've got some um, posters of some like events I've done. When I was going through my stuff, I found like some of this cool stuff that I've kept and I was like, oh, it'd be nice to hang up. And then behind me here, I have um, like a floral mural that I did. And it was so funny when I started doing it because I've done murals for like a lot of people and organizations and I have no problem starting, but as soon as it was my own wall, I was like immediately nervous. <laughs> um, and I've got some hand drums up here. I do a lot of uh, hand drum paintings. Got a couple more on the wall behind me. Over here is like my little area where I create. Um, so I, I just, I'm just using the table that I had in my apartment um, prior to moving and I kind of love it because it's like covered in paint and stickers and I can just like be messy and leave all my stuff out. I framed my uh, diploma from OCAD after five years of having it put away. I've got a couple of my awards up there, um, a beautiful studio warming letter from Christy Belcourt. Um, a signed CD from Frank Wong, one of my land back patches, a letter from Reclaiming Roots, who makes really beautiful moose antler earrings. And then I have a signed picture from when I went, met um, Bill Mosley from Devil's Rejects, which was really cool. And this is where I keep my um, like sketches and ideas for stuff. Um, sometimes they don't turn in, into anything like, this sketch here is like a pen drawing from when I was at OCAD. I just happened to find it laying around when I was packing up my stuff. Um, and this one ended up being a painting for my uncle to thank him for all the work that he did on my studio. Um, got a couple of ideas percolating. Thanks so much for joining me on this little tour of my mothership. Um, if anyone is interested in the process of building it, I have two highlights on my Instagram page. The first one is Studio Build and the second one is Studio Build 2. Thank you very much.